The last thing that a foreign guy really wants to do is meet a Filipina online and start falling in love with her only to find out later on that she's married to another man in the Philippines. For those that don't know the laws in the Philippines, this can certainly be fraught with many problems and dangers for you and also for the Filipina. There are many things to consider here before committing to such a relationship with a married Filipina where in the West these problems wouldn't exist. So if you're thinking about dating a Filipina, then you really need to watch this video before committing to any relationship at all. So be sure to stay with me here. Just quickly, if you're looking to date a Filipina and are not sure where to start, then why not check out my affiliate link in the pinned comment to the Philippines' number one dating site where it's free to create an account. Now straight up I want to say that in no way am I casting married Filipinas in a bad light, as many of them are wonderful women. But foreign guys really need to be fully informed around what implications may come from dating a married Filipina, even if she's separated from her husband in the Philippines. So first up, for those that may not be aware, is the fact that the Philippines has a no divorce policy with a couple of exceptions. The first exception is around a Filipina who may have married a Muslim man under Sharia law. And the second one is around a Filipina who married a foreign man and that marriage ended with a divorce being granted in the foreigner's country. Now that's withstanding that the Filipina is not a dual citizen. Under these two circumstances in the Philippines, will a divorce be recognized, which then frees up a Filipina to remarry? And as always, a small disclaimer here, be sure to consult a competent attorney in the Philippines for sound legal advice. Apart from those two circumstances, once a Filipina marries and it's registered in the Philippines, then she's considered a married woman until she either gets an annulment or the husband dies and she becomes a widow. Well then, she'll be free to remarry. And I must tell you that getting an annulment is rather difficult and not so straightforward. It will cost several thousands of dollars and can take several years to complete. And one must be aware that annulments are not always granted. So assuming a Filipina is married and let's say she's been separated for 10 years. If this happened in many foreign countries, it wouldn't be a problem. You just file for a divorce and within several months, the divorce is heard by a magistrate and granted. Well. At least that's how it is here in Australia, and I assume similar in many other countries. But in the Philippines, if you're planning on being in a relationship with a Filipina, you absolutely need to be fully aware that they have adultery laws in the Philippines that they do take extremely seriously, and to the point, one could spend six years in prison if convicted. So now you're starting to see the gravity of the situation here and there are still many more considerations to come. If you're visiting your Filipina in the Philippines and she has a jealous husband who knows the laws, then he may very well be tempted out of revenge or jealousy to lay charges against his wife who is in an adulterous relationship with you. And make no mistakes here. She can be charged for adultery and you can be charged under concubinage laws, which as I say, can carry a prison term of several years. Now, is this a likely scenario to happen when you go to visit her in the Philippines? Probably not, but it has happened before and most likely will happen again. And to me at least, I wouldn't want this worry that at any time the police may come and arrest me in the Philippines. Now the next problem that a foreigner dating a married woman in the Philippines may have to face is if someone decides they want to make some quick cash from you by blackmailing you. It could be that a husband, a relative or even the Filipina herself 
could have been planning this from the very start. Now again, is it likely to happen? Probably not. But it's certainly another added worry and concern that comes with dating a married Filipina. And for me, I think it's not worth taking that risk when there are so many single women available where you won't have to worry about any of this stuff. And one must be aware that scams like this do happen in the Philippines. Simply, where the opportunity to make money arises, some will strike. And if you don't know the laws in the Philippines around such things very well, which most foreign guys won't know, then being blackmailed can be very scary, and the very thought of being thrown into a Filipino jail can be terrifying. And the fear factor, along with the fact that many foreigners won't know the laws all that well, is what these people will rely on to relieve you of your hard-earned money. And you may never even suspect a thing until it actually happens, which could most likely be on your first visit to meet the Filipina. But let's be honest here. Even if you have been to visit her several times and all has been fine, it doesn't mean you're in the clear. As much as I love the Filipino people, it is possible that some of your girlfriend's relatives could get rather jealous or desperate and decide to threaten you in this way to make some money. Now I've heard some foreign guys say that the chances of this happening are remote so it's not worth me worrying. And I do agree that the chances are remote, but I disagree that it's not worth worrying about. Does one really want to hide the fact that he and the Filipina are together by not stating their relationship on Facebook or being able to share social media pictures of them together as a couple? Does one want to have to meet the Filipina in a whole different province or city for the fear of being seen together or even possibly having your time together in a whole different country just to be safe? Does one always want to be looking over his shoulder or waiting for the police to come through the door at any moment? Do you want to be constantly suspicious of your Filipina, her family and her friends just in case? And does one really want to have these sort of worries when trying to get to know your Filipina by having a relaxing time together in the Philippines? Because the reality of it all is when you choose to be in a relationship with a married Filipina, these are some of the extra worries you may have to deal with as you progress through the relationship. When you compare this to a relationship with a single Filipina, it all seems much more easy with far less complications or worries. So again, I emphasize that when I say avoid the wrong Filipinas, I'm not meaning they're all bad people but more so it will make your life and relationship very much easier as you go forward if you choose a single Filipina from the very start. If you're looking for more valuable information and tips around creating an awesome relationship with your Filipina, then be sure to check out the playlist on screen now. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.